Hello, everyone. A <laughs> um, few things to show you. This is an RC check, and I'm going to show you a few things, what I've been doing, and uh, we'll just go from there. Right, anyway, I got this from the marketplace uh, probably two weeks ago. I got this for 40 quid, so that's probably about $50 to Americans. But uh, I don't know how old it is. I know it's quite old, but I thought it's the perfect width for my Batmobile. So here what I've done, I've literally just chopped it in half and it is the same width. I'll just walk you around it. The wheels are, well, they're 2.2s, but I'm just playing around with wheels at the moment. But uh, I'll grab the body and uh, I'll show you. There's my Batmobile. I also got this from the marketplace, pretty cheap. And I will just show you the front it just literally just know, let me just move that to there it fits beautifully over the front perfect look at that looks cool and obviously the back nicely chopped Oh, <laughs> lots to do. Let me just align it. Something like that. Oh, let's just get that nicely aligned. Well, you get the gist of it. That's what it will look like. And of course, Independent rear suspension like the real one. The engine will fit in the back and it'll look nice. So I'll show you on the next video the extended chassis. And of course the front end will have its lights. That all gets cut out. I'll be doing that in aluminium with the lights. And there'll be plenty of room for the battery and it should look awesome. Right, well I'll take you over, over here. Oh, I've done this today, put my light kit on, but I've still got to arrange it. What do you think of that, eh? Pretty cool, eh? All right, what else? I've got my tyres for the Jimny. I've just stuck it on this chassis at the moment. But you know, these tyres, they're, they're very, very squishy. They don't have any inserts, but the perfect grip, perfect size tyre, 2.2. But this is what I like about it. It's a shame you can't get inner tubes it shakes. <laughs> oh dear. Nice and squidgy. So these are the tyres I'll be sticking on that. Nice military style 2.2s. And I have been painting the wheels. I've done two so far. Well, the bead rings. But I'll just flip it around. Looks awesome. And also, I've done the roll cage. Well, started doing it. Let me just take this hat out and I'll just show you. So that will get mounted and it goes around the window so you sort of get the gist of it. So this is just uh, for testing purposes until I get the right amount. It's hard doing it with one hand but that will get mounted like that and then I've done this back rail. Where is it? And that will sit there and I'll make another one probably further down I might angle it might bend it but all this material comes from B&Q big up B&Q <laughs> so there we go that's as far as I've got at the moment but I'm very impressed with this it bends round 
sits beautifully around the window and will get mounted in the footwell just there and how I use well what I use for these is these I use one of these you can get these from eBay they are shock absorber mounts and I'll just cut it in half drilled tapered it in and it fits lovely so there you go that's how far I've come They look so much nicer with the painted bead rings. But these tyres will go on there eventually. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be looking for some foams. I'm thinking of the Proline ones. And it should look badass once it's done. So anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Um, I'll keep you updated with the Batmobile. And that should look awesome once it's finished. None of these jacked up ones with big arches in the wheels. It will look exactly how it was in the film. I'm going to be cutting the, um, what's it called? The hubs on the other wheels and it will all match and it look, should look awesome. And also the best thing about this is it flips up. So you can get to the battery, the electrics, and it'd be easy. So, very nice. So, look for one of these, Gravel Hound. I know they do other models, other body shells, but the chassis are all the same. That's what it looks like. And of course, always use Tamiya, Japanese quality. They're the best. So, I'll just quickly take that off. There you go. Of course, I'll be extending the drive shaft, the chassis, and uh, that will do. Right. Well, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think of my light display. I've got to sort it out. It's dangling down. I've got to all tuck it up behind the boards. Oh, and if you're interested, these are gel blasters. I thought I'd give them a go. They're pretty cool. I saw them on TikTok, and I thought, yeah, I'll have a go. And they're pretty awesome. Right, anyway, it's not about the guns. This is just an RC check, what I've been doing. Right, well, thanks for watching, stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.